Welcome. In this video, we'll discuss all the new features and updates in FL Studio 20.8.4. We'll start with effects, including frequency shifter and instruments, go over workflow updates, including native Apple Silicon support, and end with changes to the user interface. As always, there's a lot of ground to cover. Let's get stuck in with a new effect, frequency shifter. <laughs> Unlike a traditional pitch shifter that maintains harmonic relationships, frequency shifter moves all frequencies in the audio by a fixed amount. It's great for all sorts of sound design duties. You can create metallic, dissonant, ring modulation, vibrato and phasing effects, or use the built-in sidechain routing option inside Patcher to directly ring modulate your audio with other audio sources. Nice. Here's the thing that's really cool. With Frequency Shifter, you can make yourself sound like a robot if you like. Z-Game Editor Visualizer. Video devices like capture cards and webcams can now be used in multiple instances of the plugin at once. So no need to buy extra cameras for every instance of ZGE. There is also a new Luminance Average internal controller available on the Settings tab. We've also got a new video controller effect and it enables precise video playback controls with audio. This makes it much easier to use video clips in ZGE and also enables making beats from purely video clips in FL Studio for the first time. And we've added a new visualization. Peak map, courtesy of Dub Switcher. Maximus and Limiter. It is now possible to disable the minus 0.2 decibel safety margin from the options menu. We've added a show labels option on control surface to show or hide control labels. In Edison, right-clicking to select options now prevents closing the menu when applying visualization options. This is now consistent with the rest of FL Studio. We've also renamed the option Disable Undo for Large Samples to Enable Undo for Large Samples, because it's much better for performance to have no Undo for Large Samples by default, and the old name was confusing. 3XOSC Long awaited, 3XOC has now been updated to feature state-of-the-art anti-aliasing for the oscillators. <coughs> Running into bad artifacts and rumble from aliasing, simply turn on the HQ button here and never lose sleep over this again. <coughs> FL Studio Mobile. We have updated FL Studio Mobile and in turn the FL Studio Mobile plugin to version 3.6.5. What does that mean for you? There is a new plugin, the Spacer, which works like Fruity Stereo Enhancer. updated the reverb and compressor plugins and file management system. 
If you've never tried it, now's the time. In Patcher, you can now copy and paste values to plugin parameters without having to activate them first. That's it for plugin news. Let's move on to workflow updates now. First up, Apple Silicon support. FL Studio now runs natively without Rosetta on Apple Silicon, M1 and related CPUs for improved performance. Please note, if you're using third-party macOS VST plugins, they will also need to be Apple Silicon native to open. Thank you, Apple. AU plugins will be okay. See the link in the description for full details on Apple Silicon support. There is a new piano roll option. Preview notes during playback will let you preview notes as they are mouse clicked into the piano roll during playback. To ensure consistency across the program, we have renamed Consolidate Tracks Full Song in the playlist to From Song Start to match export options. MIDI settings. You can now enable soft pickup functionality for controls linked to external controllers. That means no more jumpy faders if you don't want them to be. In the file menu, there are new options to export all playlist tracks from track start, song start or time selection. You can now reset a mixer tracks routing from the mixer menu. Select Reset Selected Tracks Routing to reset the routing for the selected mixer tracks to default. Et voila! They are now going to the master. Also, we've added an option to apply track level and mute when recording, so these can be ignored when recording post effects in the mixer. Helpful if you're monitoring what you're recording before FL Studio anyway. The Python API for MIDI scripting has been extended to read plugin names as set by the user. Also, you can now check if the mixer track is muted, display and set stereo separation values, display the color of FPC pads and refresh all display control values all on and from the controller. By the way, Arturia have made official FL Studio scripts available on our forum. So if you have an Arturia controller, rejoice! You'll be able to do all sorts of crazy stuff. We've added new options for automatically resetting channel swing and arpeggiator after burning MIDI to channels. Automation. There is now an additional mode option in the override generic link pop-up. And finally, we'll tell you how we've made FL Studio prettier. Toolbar. If your FL Studio doesn't come pre-configured to your language of choice, there is now a toolbar button to change the set language. This will appear by default when the language is changed from the default. Mixer. We've increased the brightness of the volume decibel label on mixer tracks in wide 2 and larger view modes. Windows File Browser. A much requested update, all folder selection windows have now been replaced with a modern OS file browser window with quick access and view options. No more stumbling your way to your projects folder from the root directory of the drive. And with that, we hope you'll love FL Studio 20.8.4 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Yeah.